Hello everyone. Yes, I am alive. That is for all those who commented leaving your questions. Are you still alive? I am still alive. I am experiencing right now a rain that smells awful. And I've been experiencing today especially, though yesterday I experienced an ear, both ears, like someone turned off my hearing and replaced it with this high-pitched tone that was just in the right ear. The frequencies have been quite telling. So the rain, I came over here and what do I see? Nanotechnology operating to create our weather. Yes. Yesterday, our clouds were pretty intense, gigantic, humongous, low. I'm sorry for not being able to post. I lost traction. A lot has been happening. Don't really want to get into it right now. But suffice it to say, the lies have uh, gotten me down. The lies. Not just lies from our politicians, our mainstream media reporters, our leaders, you know, lies like, hmm, well, let's pause this and check out this. Ah, yes, a lie. Trump, thumbs up. Me, 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 me. I created the best economy ever, ever. People are back at work and things are hunky-dory, the lies. And those who suffer the consequences of those lies get so marginalized you don't even hear from them. Now, it's remarkable what we are living, and I know that many of you are really having a hard time with what has manifested what we are now experiencing, the craziness, the insanity, the immorality, the immaturity, the destruction of all life, not just two-legged, but four-legged and all species. The lie, okay, so my computer dies, which many of you know, I did get the hard drive, the data off that hard drive. And then a few days later, I get a violation on YouTube violating the child safety policy on a video. No children, n not even the discussion was not even about children. No pictures of children, nothing to do with children, but somehow I violated the child safety policy. I appealed it. My appeal was rejected. It's a lie. It's a lie. The computer problems that I've still been having, which is really remarkable, uh, using this PC that was sent to me by a subscriber, um, I can't hook up my webcam. The mic stopped working. It crashes often. A browser, and it doesn't matter what browser I'm using, but suddenly it's not responding. But it crashes my entire computer. I've got to reboot. The reason why I detailed some of the problems 
I was talking to a subscriber yesterday on the phone and we were laughing at a video that I had seen on YouTube. You know that auto thing? If you don't shut it off, then the video that you're watching when it's over, YouTube starts another video from the YouTube queue. And I wasn't sitting at my computer. I was just listening. And all of a sudden I hear seven ways to determine if you are spiritually gifted. <laughs> I thought, I rolled my eyes. And the first of the seven, electronic problems. I laughed. Yeah, I do laugh on occasion. I laughed. I thought, oh my God. Okay. I looked to see who, what channel is this? They had millions of subscribers. It's like one of those YouTube creator channels. Millions and millions of subscribers. The videos on the channel are seven ways to determine. Four steps to uh, all that, you know, stuff. But <laughs> I thought, like, oh, uh, then I must be incredibly spiritually gifted. I, so I've heard this before. People who think spiritually gifted people, I guess the frequency they emit blows out their computers. What I thought was instead, you know, because clearly I'm not the only spiritually gifted person here. Based on your comments, a whole lot of you are spiritually gifted. Is, I thought, oh my God, uh, they're trying to shift people who are incredibly frustrated now with Microsoft, their shitty operating system, computers crashing, you know, and many of you are experiencing the problems. Are they just, <laughs> this world is so sick. We have so many, so many sick, twisted puppies. Well, you're looking at one right now um, in the world that, that lie incessantly. They everything is about their own agenda or or they're working for someone else who has an agenda and they put out now the most ridiculous the, the lunacy the insanity the crazy oh my god how can people actually believe this horseshit um, <sighs> Windows 7 Vista Windows 8 XP Windows they want people on Windows 10. I think a lot of the problems that we're experiencing are deliberate. So instead of people getting <laughs> really angry at Billy Gates, at Microsoft, for this shitty operating uh, system they have, now they can just sit back and thank their computers for all the problems that they're having because their computers are telling them they're spiritually gifted. Ah, well. All right. Um, yeah, the lunacy, the insanity, the immorality, the immaturity. Uh, I'm having a hard time with it. Now, a lot of you know that the truth means everything to me. And it does. And I, I became pretty... Uh, well, just moving on down the road, the truth did become everything. I became secondary to it, which is really unbelievable. So when your life, when your personal life gets saturated in lies, that's hard enough. But where do you go to escape the lies? You, you, nowhere. And the saturation now is really hard to take. And I know that many of you feel the same. And I've spoken this often. I, everything comes down to the lie. All the problems that we face, it's the lie. The lie is causing all the problems. 
So when you recognize that, yeah, it is very possible to radically change the direction that we are going if people would stop lying and they just don't. Instead, the world gets darker and darker by not only the liars, but those who accept the lies. When you have suffered the consequences of lies, well, I can only speak for myself, the truth did become everything. So YouTube lies, claiming I violated the child safety policy. Uh, just a few days after my computer goes down, then I start having problems with this computer I'm using now. And I lost traction. I, I just... I hate, more than anything, never seeing any change for the better. Nothing frustrates me more, especially you know, when it's so possible to achieve. But instead, everything gets worse and, well, you do understand that the change it has to, uh, th there's no way out, no way out of this nightmare that we are living with all the corruption and, and everything that we're facing, the willfully ignorant, the useful idiots, the, the lying politicians, the lying leaders, the, uh, lying mainstream media and the lying coming from our own friends and family everything will only get worse if you don't change the individual must change and I started you know uh, look since my appeal was rejected, that means one more strike and never lose truth is gone. And I know to a lot of people, oh, you just keep going or go to bit shooter or do this or do... Look, the reason why people are still on YouTube is because this is where you reach the largest number of people. When we are facing what we are facing, you want to reach as many people as you can. So it's hard to get off YouTube. When you've had your channels taken down twice already, and yes, you put everything into it, and it wasn't a great channel, I'm not saying anything like that, but you really, when, I mean, when you think about the work that people put into their channels and then it just gets disappeared on a lie and that happened twice before so now posting on this it's like okay when you know if you get a strike and appeal it and it gets rejected and it's so obvious that that strike was nothing more then just a well should we say it was a mistake of algorithms but the appeal got rejected as well when you write in your appeal which has to be like maybe two or three sentences that's it that YouTube has made a mistake because the video had nothing to do with children and they reject your appeal you suffer the consequences of a lie 
And when you continually suffer those consequences of the liars lying, you get down. Would it be easier if I had real life support? Would it be easier if I had support in the cyber world, like in this community of ours? Absolutely. It would be easier for an awful lot of people now experiencing living a time that is very stressful and they're isolated agents out there having to deal with everything alone because they don't have people in their life that they can trust that they can go to we don't have it here in this community why because a lot of people lie and a lot of people do things that destroy trust. So eight years ago when I started on YouTube, I was wowed. There was trust. Oh, we also had the assholes. But I, I couldn't believe it. My first experience on a social media platform I was like, oh my God, people were working together, learning so much from one another. It was great. Eight years later, it, trust has been obliterated. And that upsets me greatly. Trust is the foundation of everything good. Trust is the foundation of life. It's, you know, that that's where life springs from without it you just descend into this pit of darkness meaningless pit of darkness and I always needed life to be meaningful you know uh, well it's unfortunate but this is where we're at and yeah, I'm not, you know, someone who posts because, you know, I like being on social media. Um, I'm, I, I got on as just someone who's concerned about what was taking place. I hate the fact that everything has gotten worse and that worse has come from you and me and others not being able to organize anything um, to behave in ways that would have made us stronger not weaker uh, it's I will be posting I'm trying to get my traction back and well as you can see it's it's a little uh, well it stalls out and it's a little chunky but you know I, I just look look at this you know we live in such a sick twisted country and I understand it's not just our country but you know I was also watching a video of a subscriber of mine whom I've subscribed to. And the video, it, it, you know, Enough is Enough, I think, was the title. And then something about I had it with, and then two squares. What are these symbols that people are putting down? I don't know what that means. But in listening to her, yeah. Yeah, I think she's like 20 years younger than I am. And she can't stand living what she's living. The craziness, uh, uh, you know. I wish there was some place where we could go to get away from this insanity and to have real life support. 
I know that an awful lot of you are hurting. I hate the fact that we're all so distant from one another. The isolation that I've been experiencing has really been difficult to keep going. So when I face a strike, get punished for a week, it's an interruption that is hard for me. As I've said, I'm, I'm not myself anymore. And, you know, even little changes kind of throw me, you know, and that's, I was thrown then posting on my backup channel. I just, I don't stop because I want to. I stop because I can't do it. I keep trying to post videos. Understand, I have nothing in my life anymore. Nothing. I am alone all the time. I do everything alone. And this is what I have. What you're staring at, that's it, night and day. In the afternoon, I walk in circles to get some exercise, or I shop because I need some food or cat food. I feed cats, and then I sit here. That's my life. Everything's gone. I am the destroyed life by evil. I understand evil, unfortunately. It took me way too long to really get it and really admit that I do come from evil, which those of us who've come from evil, well, we've lived something that, yeah, is not your ordinary life. You know, that bell curve, the majority in the bell curve, they living similar dysfunctional you know, lives. They having similar dysfunctional families uh, that for some, well, let's not say for some reason, we know the familial dysfunction in our country became acceptable. Acceptable. Oh, let's not work to resolve the dysfunction, let's just accept it and live, live our entire life with discord and conflict and fighting and uh, hating one another and arguing and, and call that a family. That's, that's the socially acceptable dysfunctional family. And then there are, you know, everything's on a continuum. So, you got that bell curve, which is the socially acceptable dysfunction, and then you have, on either end, the dysfunction that begins to wane off, and, oh wow, you see so few out there on the healthy end of the continuum. On the other side of the bell curve, you have as you go along the scale, those who have been from the kind of evil that know the bell curvers, as I call the majority, don't understand. In fact, want to shut up all the time. Ah, you just think you're a victim. You're exaggerating. You're lying. You're this. Those who come from the evil, if they make it, if they do the work necessary to resolve what they acquired during their childhood, if they don't die early from suicide or drugs or alcohol, um, I can only speak for myself, you begin to have a very different perspective of life. And you know what? 
You look in. You observe life. It's not really meant for you. It's meant for the bell curvers. The majority who are the ones who manifest reality. The majority. And you observe from outside the curve what's happening inside the curve. And you begin to see why life is so crazy. And you begin to understand that, wow, if they, inside that bell curve, don't do the work necessary to, yeah, grow up and stop lying, stop living a pretense, if they don't get to a point where they don't have to wear that mask out in the world, if they don't do the work necessary to resolve their issues that they acquired from their childhood, they can only be a part of the problem and not the solution. And you know it's possible from them but they won't do it. It's very frustrating. Very frustrating. So the change, yeah, it has to come from us. Each individual, and unfortunately, and it's not gonna happen, but what we need is a mass changing of psyche. Individuals changing their psyche they're thinking, you know, like, hmm, let's, let's see. The world we have created is a product of our thinking. It cannot be changed without changing our thinking. If we want to change the world, we have to change our thinking. No problem can be solved from the same consciousness that created it. We must learn to see the world anew. I, I think a lot of people who think they're well, they will never face the truth of how sick they are. And I don't use the word sick in a derogatory fashion. I use it as a matter of fact. You know, this country is sick. It is diseased with delusion, immorality, skewed thinking, self-centeredness, selfishness. All of that has to be worked out and that requires the individual to do that work of self-reflection, reevaluating all of their beliefs, doing the work necessary to create higher levels of awareness of their own self and their surroundings. An awareness when they're out in the world behaving, or inside their home behaving, um, but they're aware of their behavior, and they're aware of the ripple effect of their behavior, that they really look at how they are living their life, and accepting the fact that, yes, I am a cog in the wheel, of a satanic system. I've been trapped in it. But now with the truth, I have a choice to stay in it or think of a new way. 
most don't want to change. That is what is necessary. That is what I need to be talking about now. Because if we don't change, all we're doing is watching the evil take out more and more people. Yes, I've been bookmarking the articles, the videos, the flooding continues, the tornadoes continue, the microbursts continue, the trees falling, the power outages every day. More and more have lost their homes, their businesses. More people get destroyed, more animals die. I don't see a lot of people caring about that. And I have lived something very different from, I'd say, pretty much all of you. I know, and I've spoken to people who have experienced similar experiences, but we're all different. And uh, I have yet to meet someone who has lived and continues to live a familial experience as I have. I can say that now confidently. You can. Those I've spoken to, I can imagine they're rolling their eyes. They're already judging me. But the differences are very obvious, glaring. I don't understand why it is that people need to have someone have the same experience of life that you have had and why it's so hard to listen to people who have had a different experience. I don't get it, but that's what people do. I'm sorry that I've lost traction. I am hoping to get it back. I am hoping that I continue to post in this line because nothing's going to change and nothing frustrates me more to just live a stagnant life doing the same thing over and over and over again. I can't do it. It's killing me. Life, my life, is literally just withering. And you know what? That's what happens when you have no fun foundation of trust, when you have nowhere to go, no release, no, no one in real life where you can actually find some solace. The destruction of trust has been the most damaging aspect of life. And it was an important attack because if we had trust, it, you can't, you have a trusting relationship or a trusting family or trusting community, that means you have a strong community and a strong family, and a strong relationship. Healthy. Health comes from trust. When you don't, when you've got people lying to you, and you've got, you got unhealthy, all right, well, then you just do the work necessary to stop those behaviors and get healthy, right? Why should I bother if I'm comfortable? Why should I do anything differently? Because you've been saying you care. You can see what people care about. Just watch what they do. I'd love to be able to see some real you know, fight going on before I die. 
I'd love for something to happen that would wow me again and inspire me and get me going instead of always having to draw from inside because when you're doing that 24 7 day after day year after year it drains you we feed off of one another and the energy is pretty bad and it's not about having that up voice and being positive and sharing things that will bring false hope to everybody because hope is such a wonderful thing to feel well I can't give you false hope and I hear a lot of false hope coming from people we're in bad 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 shape we get worse every single day so every day you don't do anything to try to change your own self your psyche you help the worse continue on every day we have to change our consciousness we can't continue to walk the low road and if you don't know that there are different levels of consciousness you're revealing you have never done any work on yourself you've never done that work of self-reflection reevaluating your beliefs you have never looked inside and never faced the truth of yourself the most important truth no you have selected out a truth that you will attend to you will you know allow your attention to go to that truth out there what about the truth inside which is the most important so if you haven't done that you're not about truth you ain't spiritual you ain't Christian you ain't what you think you are in fact you don't know who you are and when you don't know who you are you follow leaders you don't act on your own because you don't know what you're about you can't stand firm of substance because you haven't exercised those muscles and if you don't know who you are you don't know how could you possibly live principles because you don't have any you think you do you think an awful lot of great things about yourself but it's not the truth yes I have done this work and I continue I have to do it all the time because it never ends it really doesn't end you know <laughs> never argue with stupid people they will drag you down to their level and then beat you with experience <laughs> what is most frustrating to me is that people will drag you down they don't want to be lifted up because they don't want to change you know they don't want to change we can't keep thinking that we want change when we don't change ourselves so I'm gonna leave you there now and it's just look this is where I'm at I have a sense of humor but over the years that sense has developed one blind spot I can no longer laugh at ignorance or stupidity those are our chief enemies and it is dangerous to make fun of them the stupidity the insanity the immaturity the immorality the idiocracy I can't laugh at anymore it's it's 
It's too dangerous. It's killing people. It is killing people. So, so I am still alive. And I'm trying to get myself back, but you know what? I need some... I need some energy. I need a good energy infusion, you know? I need to be around people who are working on themselves. I need to hear from people who are working on themselves. That's what gives me hope. When I post videos talking about this, or post videos uh, that are of others talking about the necessity of looking at your own self, changing your own self, because that's the answer. I get so few comments and I see that we will get nowhere in eight years. This is my third you know, channel, backup channel of Kafka Winston World, the second. But the first channel I had nearly 40,000 subscribers. The second channel I had over 40,000. This channel, I don't know how many I don't look at the numbers, I don't care about the numbers, but I think it was uh, someone commented saying 34, over 34,000. I can think of five people in eight years with those tens of thousands of subscribers who have notified me. One I have met, one I'm now talking to, and three others who have emailed said, you know, thank you for talking about this because they are now doing that work, facing their own truth. Five. Am I a hopeless creature? Am I a dark, negative creature? No, I'm a realist. And I know that it is a fact that if you don't change, nothing will change. And do we need a whole lot of people changing really fast? Yeah. Is it important to change anyway for your own self, for your own soul? Absolutely. But when you... Five. You realize that's the reason why everything has gotten worse. Anyway. I'll talk to you soon. I hope you are all well. I hope you have a great weekend. Sorry this went on for as long as it did. It's the weekend. Maybe practice living honestly, speaking honestly, take off your mask, try to, you know, shred the pretense Go out in the world, or even inside your own home with your family members, and be who you are. Be real. Be real. Because if we're not real, we are part of the problem. Do you even know if you're real? Do you know your genuine self? Hmm. Well, ciao.